Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will try to see that how we can calculate the Vmax and the Km using the Excel and the Solver. The Km and the Vmax are the two very important properties to understand the enzyme kinetics. To calculate the Vmax and the Km, we have these two variables. The one is a substrate concentration Another one is an experimentally determined initial velocity or the V0. And we are going to refer it here as a V0 1. You can see it here that it is a variable substrate concentration from 0 to 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and so on and on. And on these different concentrations of the substrate, we are observing a different velocity of the enzyme or the V0. Now, to calculate the Vmax and the Km, the first we will draw a line plot between these two variables. To draw the line plot on the axle between these two variables, we will select them. We will go to the insert tab. Then we will go into the chart portion and we will click here. And then we will click on this line plot. As you can see it here, this is a line plot between a substrate and the initial velocity. The substrate concentration is on x-axis while the velocity is on y-axis. Now, our basic understanding about the Vmax and the Km can help us to get an idea about the estimated Vmax and the Km value by looking at this graph. We can see it here that the Vmax or the maximum velocity is approximately going to be reached at 150. So we are going to write it down here, the observed Vmax, which is approximately 150. I hope so that you guys know it very well that one half of the Vmax is Km. And to get an idea about the Km, we are going to draw a perpendicular from the y-axis to x-axis. So 75 is approximately here, and from this point, if we will draw the perpendicular, so the Km is approximately 0.4. So let's write down here the value of the Km, which is approximately 0.4. Let's highlight them. Okay, so we have a observed Vmax and observed Km. But keep it into mind that these are not the actual Vmax and the actual Km. To get an idea about the actual Vmax and the actual Km, now we are going to calculate the observed V0. To calculate the observed V0, we are going to use this equation. This is a Michaelius mental equation. As you can see it here, to get an observed V0, we have to multiply the Vmax with the substrate concentration and then we have to divide these two values to the substrate concentration plus the Km. Now we have the Vmax, we have the Km, we have the substrate concentration. So we will use all of these values to calculate the V0 and keep it into mind this is not an experimental V0, this is an observed V0. So let's write it down here a V0 observed and let's use the Michaelius mental equation to calculate the V0 observed. Now to calculate the V0 observed we are going to use here a formula as per the Michaelius mental equation and the formula will be sign of equality parenthesis start the value of Vmax multiplied by the value of substrate concentration, parenthesis close, divided by parenthesis start, the value of substrate concentration, the value of Km, parenthesis close, and the enter. And as you can see it here, this is our V0 observed. And you can see it here also that there is a difference between V0 experimental and V0 observed. Now we will do the same for the rest of the values. Now to make the things easy, we are going to make a small change in the formula. 
we are going to put a sign of dollar between D and 20, which is basically a value of Pmax, and D and 21, which is basically a value of Km. This small amendment will help us to drag this portion and bring it downward and automatically all of the values will be calculated. Now we have the three variables, substrate concentration, experimental V0 and observe V0. Now if we click on this chart and then we will come back here and we will drag this and we will also include the V0 observed then we will observe the change in the chart and you can see it here a very nice curve appearing here. So the blue line is indicating the V0 experimental and this orange line is indicating the V0 observed. As you can see it here there is a huge difference. Now we have to calculate this difference and we are going to say it an error. So now let's calculate the error. Now to calculate the error what we are going to do again we are going to apply a very simple formula the sign of equal parenthesis start v0 observed minus v0 experimental and the square of both. Now why we are going to take the square? so that we can avoid the negative values. We will hit the enter button. So this is an error, the scared error between the V0 experimental and V0 observed. We will simply drag it down. And we will drag it down here. So we will have the error, the scared error for all of the values. Now what to do? Now we will calculate the sum of squared error. Now to calculate the sum of squared error, we are going to apply the formula once again here. Sum first value up to the last value, parenthesis close, hit the enter button and this is going to be the sum of squared error. Now this is time to calculate the actual Vmax and the Km value. And to calculate the actual Vmax and the Km value, we are going to use a solver here. Where is the solver? We will go to this data tab. And then here we are going to find out the solver. If in your Excel, you are not going to find out this solver button, then don't worry. Watch this complete video and at the end of the video we will let you know from where the solver will come if you don't have in your Excel right now. Now we will click on this solver and we will add the two values. In the objective we will add this sum of squared error and the secondly we will add this estimated Vmax and the Km values. We will click on this minimum and then we will click on this solve button. When we will solve button, then you will observe the change here on the value of Vmax and the Km. Now these are the actual Vmax and the Km for this enzymatic data. Now finally, let's try to see that how we can calculate the Kcat. The calculation of the Kcat is very simple. To calculate the Kcat, we are going to divide the Vmax to the total enzyme concentration. Let's assume that our ET or the total enzyme concentration is 0.5 molar. In this case, the Kcat or the catalytic constant will be equal to Vmax divided by the total enzyme concentration, hit the enter button. So the value of Kcat is 387. And simply, you can also calculate the Kcat 
over the km ratio which is an absolute measure to let you know that how much your enzyme is efficient hopefully this tutorial will be informative for you to calculate the basic units for the enzyme kinetics now finally let's see if you don't have a solver from where you can get it to get this solver button if you don't have in the excel come to this file and then go to options then go to the adds in and in the adds in click on this one now here you can see it if this button is not ticked then tick it and click ok and solver will appear in front of you thanks for watching this video tutorial hope to see you guys again